What's new, what's missing, and what are the benchmarks of the latest build of MIUI 13.0.4.0 global version running on the Xiaomi Poco X3 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and we have a new build for the POCO X3 Pro Global variant. The build number here is 13.0.4.0, MIUI 13 of course, based on Android 12 and the first change you will notice is that the security patch is from April 2022. Yes, we do have to give them some credits because we are getting the patch for April in the month of April. The next change you will notice is when you try to set a wallpaper. So let us go ahead and go into the settings application. Let us go into wallpaper profile wallpapers and if I try to change my wallpaper say set both I should get a notification which I'm not getting anymore. I was getting it previously and it said something along the lines of if you like our wallpaper application do you want to add a shortcut to your home screen and I think I do have a screenshot here it is like our wallpapers add a home screen shortcut so this is the option which you might get and that is something which I have noticed to be new then another new change which you might notice is if you go into settings then you go into additional settings go into accessibility here and if you go into the option of accessibility button you will see this new toggle to enable or disable the accessibility button now it is supposed to enable your transparent button over here but of course me UI not working and if you go into accessibility menu shortcut enable this toggle this is the button which I am talking about and how do you know this is the button because if I go and disable it the button disappeared but I if enable it it is not coming back so again main UI full of bugs and that is what is new in this specific build now what is broken or what is missing have the animations of ever so famous poop launcher been fixed nope the animations are still broken now one of the Xiaomi Indonesia people or the general manager I think is claiming that in mid of May we might get a new build of poop launcher with animations fixed now if that happens you my dear friend will have seen a miracle in your lifetime then what about the gestures the gestures are pretty good no issues in that regard and i haven't faced the issue of your white background behind this bar either but is your google feed still buggy slow jittery yep there it is you can see on your screen right now it is as bad as it gets and the transition from your google feed to the home screen cannot get any bad than that Next up, we can have a look at the control center to see if you get your data usage. Nope, you do not get your data usage in the data toggle tile on your control center. Then let us have a look at the power menu. Do you get the new power menu? Nope, same old, same old. And this is how your volume panel is going to look like. Then we can also go ahead and check out if the screen recorder application gives you the option of recording your internal audio and microphone at the same time no that option is still missing as well before you ask me hey manji what about 90 fps pubg, PUBG? Uh, i would tell you to stop dreaming about it then we can go into the camera application see if you have the privacy or protected mode when you are in the documents no you do not have that feature either and no new features have been added to the camera section as well then let us go ahead and open the me remote application to see what kind of game turbo are you getting do you get the new ui or the new style of game turbo nope it is still the old style now those of you who are looking for the new style we do have a video about that which can be found in the description of this video then what about the wallpapers and themes application do you get the new me ui 13 live wallpapers unfortunately none of those are present over here and your home screen effects are also empty like always with respect to your widgets do you get the new me ui 13 widgets unfortunately no you still have to do with the old poop launcher widgets 
which you have and then what about the applications do you get the new file manager application no do you get the new gallery application no you do not get the new gallery application either then do you get the me sans font so let us go into settings and display 120 refresh rate of course is there going to text size nopes me sans font is also not there then do you get the option of uninstalling your system applications something which they have been bragging about since miui 12.5 so you have the shortcut for uninstalled system apps but let us see can you uninstall the file manager nopes you cannot uninstall or disable it the other application which we can check is for the weather application so you can uninstall the updates for that but unfortunately you cannot uninstall or disable the whole application itself so nopes no uninstallable system apps either moving over to the benchmark scores now super strange thing happened i executed antutu at least three times and it went into a device hang situation for the first time for the poco x3 pro have i seen something like this it just hanged at random places but eventually i was able to do it and how we run our benchmark scores are four back-to-back -back n22 followed by a cpu throttle test now in terms of your benchmark scores again nothing impressive 12.5 builds better benchmark scores better consistency and i think the same thing applies for your cpu throttle test as well and again this is something which is expected from miui as the device gets older they stop optimizing it and the benchmark scores take a plunge so if i were to suggest you a miui build until and unless you want some special feature from miui 13 miui 12.5 builds are still any day better than these new miui 13 builds and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you